is good everybody welcome back to another my name toys video today ladies and gentlemen we are back yet again with another wwe fantasy booking video for you guys really excited for this i'm actually quite excited for the show got a great weekend of stuff man i'm a big sports fan so i got college football today nfl on sunday and wwe with extreme rules man so it's a it's a very fun weekend for me if you guys are wanting vindication oh my god longest story ever man i'll probably have to cover it in a video on sunday or something because i'm still editing the show i finished the film I am in the middle of editing and I hit a huge like 10 hour wall that was insane But we got it fixed and we're on the right road now full steam ahead But anyways guys extreme rules coming up on sunday very explosive card I'm actually pretty excited about it. I think we got six matches announced so far There may be a couple more added or anything like that But coming into this thing man, we didn't really have any stipulations at first, you know I know they made the change to the universal championship match But there's literally only one extreme rules match on this card and that's pretty trash for a freaking pay-per-view called extreme rules That makes no sense that's dumb as shit and i hate it might as well call it normal rules or name it something creative anything else just get creative not great balls of fire though that shit's terrible too but anyways guys let's dive into this card and in these videos if you guys did not know the criteria for these videos it's basically vince mcmahon handing me the keys and saying that i get to select what happens i get to fantasy book this thing and that's what we're gonna do here today man i'm gonna fantasy book this entire card i get to pick who i think should win and giving you my reasons for that and kind of you know playing with the card a little bit so let's go ahead and dive into it now, I am going to start things off with Carmella and Liv Morgan. It's pretty cool that recently we just got updated elites of both of these. These are really fantastic figures, but I'm going to give the win to Liv Morgan because I think, you know, we need to build her up, man. We need to build her up. Carmella's been around. She's been champion before. Let's build Liv Morgan up, continue that going, and, you know, get this get this woman a championship, man. Give her an opportunity, and this is the first step towards that. So I would have Liv Morgan win and slowly build her up until she takes on Becky or Charlotte or whoever the hell she wants to take on, man. But I'd have... Liv Morgan go over Carmella there, and that would be my pick there. Nothing nothing too immaculate. Next up, guys, we have another women's match. We have the Raw side of the women's championships, and I am going with Alexa Bliss and Charlotte Flair. Now, I don't know about you guys, but Charlotte Flair just, Jesus Christ, man. Every time I look, she's got a championship around her waist. She really gets on my nerves. I know she can put on great matches. She's not the best promo to me. She sounds really robotic. Don't get me wrong. She's had some solid little promos here and there, but I will say that uh, I prefer Alexa Bliss over Charlotte in the whole package. Now for wrestling, probably Charlotte, but I think Alexa Bliss is a character overall I do appreciate more. And I just don't want to see Charlotte with the title anymore, man. I, 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 It's been a while since we've seen Alexa Bliss with championship gold, and I think it's about that time, man, you know? I don't really like what they got going on with her with the Fiend and everything, so I'm going to have Alexa Bliss win the Raw Women's Championship. We'll see where that goes, but uh, I would roll. I would select Alexa Bliss to go over Charlotte here and capture that championship. There's no reason in her holding it at this moment, so I'm going to go with Alexa of bliss there and yeah i mean it's 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 kind of pick your poison there the shiny or turd if you will one's more shiny but they're both dogish both choices not both ladies both choices next up guys we are rolling into the other side of the women's championships and we got smackdown we got becky taking on bianca belair now i am just like everybody else man i did not like the way they did bianca belair i didn't like it man the way that they had becky come out and dominate her or whatever you want to call it it was pure domination she they made uh bianca look like a total little moron. The way they booked that thing was just just disgusting, honestly. And I love Becky. She's probably my favorite women's wrestler in all of the world. But that was terrible. That was absolutely terrible the way they did Bianca Belair. And I don't care if it was my favorite wrestler. I didn't like it. It was absolute garbage. But here we are in this rematch. Becky Lynch taking on Bianca Belair. And I love Becky, but... And I, do, I like it's hard because I don't want to play flip-flop with the title, man. I don't want to just get the championship over here and flip it back over there. Uh, and you know what? She's kind of already proven that she can beat her really quickly. So it's kind of tough tough, man. I'm just gonna go Becky, you know? I'm gonna go Becky. Maybe Bianca can go on and do something else. I, I don't really know, man. This probably won't even end the feud, but God, man, just so, it, it really books yourself into a corner when you get in like that, when you book things stupid like that, so, you know, you hate to see it. Next up, guys, we have the SmackDown Tag Team Championship match between the Usos and the Street Profits. This Angelo Dawkins figure is massive for some reason, and I absolutely hate it. Nonetheless, here we are in this matchup, and honestly, I love Monte has Ford and Angelo Dawkins. I love the Street Profits. I think they're great. However, I'm not picking them to win the championship. I'm going to have the Usos retain here. I wouldn't mind if the Street Profits won, but I am going to pick the Usos to go over the Street Profits here. Keep on going. Maybe they get another rematch. Maybe the Usos could win by Dirty Default or something like that. And it leads to a rematch, man, where the Street Profits can capture the championships. So I'm going to go with the Usos to retain. Nothing spectacular right here, man. Usos over the Street Profits. That's where I would go with that one. Next up, beautiful stuff going on right here, man. 
and we have Jeff Hardy. Now, I honestly, I had no idea that Jeff Hardy was being booked on this show until I looked at the card, man. U.S. Championship Triple Threat. Now, you're probably wondering where Damian Priest is. Sorry, Bradley. We don't have his Elite just yet. It is coming very soon. We do have a basic, but it's god-awful, and I'm not gonna even look at that. So, how I would do this, man, it's kind of cool because you guys know that we had the long-standing feud between Sheamus and Jeff Hardy last year. I think that was last year, if I'm not mistaken, with the, you know, the bar fight and stuff like that. So, we kind of tie back to that. You got some long, you know, you got long-term booking right here. But, uh, Jeff Hardy, man, I would put the championship on Jeff Hardy. Damian Priest, not really a big fan of him. I think he's fantastic in the ring, but his, his, uh, his character work and stuff like that, I am not a fan of. But this matchup s should slap. I can't wait to see what it looks like. I'm really intrigued to see how this one goes. But I'd put the title on my boy Jeff Hardy, man. Give him one last run. Let him build up. Let him win matches. I know he's older. However, we don't have much Jeff Hardy left, man. And when Jeff Hardy retires, it's gonna be, it's gonna be a very sad day. The world is going to mourn when Jeff Hardy retires because, uh, I mean, he's just one, he's one of the biggest legends in, in wrestling history. So, and this is how we want to be remembered with Jeff Hardy. Like, the last few years of his career, we just, you know, sat by and let him age and age and then bam, it's over with and no more Jeff Hardy and we didn't toss him a bone not one damn time. Give the man a championship run with it. Let him put over some younger talent. Maybe have some open challenges. Having great matches with younger talent, that would be excellent and great with me. And if he loses, ship him off to AEW for a tag team with his brother Matt for one last hurrah in AEW and uh, before he calls it quits, man. But I'd have Jeff Hardy over Damian Priest and Sheamus, man. Don't waste his talent, WWE. Give him an opportunity one last time. And for our main event, man, we have my boy Finn Balor. The Demon is returning. I'm super excited for it. Can't wait to see what the Demon looks like. Can't wait to see Roman and Finn do war. They've had multiple bangers in the past, and this one should be no different. The Demon, oh man, this is where it's really tough because you know how great Roman Reigns has been and how great his reign has been, but in my opinion, I think it's super effed up to have the Demon gone for so long and then have Finn Balor return the Demon just to lose in a matchup to Roman Reigns. Now, I know it's like Roman can't really lose, but in my scenario, you guys know that they've already announced Brock Lesnar versus Roman Reigns, so I would have Brock Lesnar come down to the ring, hit an F5 on Roman, you know, have your shenanigans, have your whatever. F5 to Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns takes an F5, a coup de gras back to back, and that does it. The Demon captures the Universal Championship. Now, you don't need a title for this feud because this feud is such a long-standing rivalry. We've seen the championship involved in it, and we don't really need the championship, you know? I, I don't think it needs the championship. And Roman Reigns is probably going to win. Maybe uh, the Demon gets caught in the crossfire with Brock Lesnar coming down to interfere. You know, he accidentally takes something or gets hit with something or, you know, there's there's plenty of scenarios going on there. You got Paul Heyman involved as well. Maybe you have Paul Heyman turn on Roman and join, join forces back with Brock. Double swerve right there, taking out Roman. Low blow, F5, coup de gras. Roman Reigns loses the title, but then, you know, it's kind of like he he's kind of a baby face at that point. So I don't know, man. But if I'm booking this, I'd have Brock come down, cost, less, or cost Roman the title, Finn Balor with the coup de gras, and he is your new Universal Champion. I don't like the idea of the of the demon returning, losing to Roman Reigns, and being an, an afterthought. That's just absolutely ludicrous. Should not happen. And the demon Finn Balor should go over, man. As much as I love Roman and his reign, I just, I, I can't do it. Finn Balor, and I'm probably biased, you know? I love Finn Balor. He's one of my favorite talents in the world. And Roman's on an absolute tear, but uh, yeah, man, Finn Balor the demon goes over here. Don't waste that gimmick. Don't waste that structure of him coming back, man. You really got to put him over nicely. And I would have Finn Balor capture the Universal Championship here and take it away from Roman Reigns, and uh, yeah, that's how I would book it right there, and whatever you want to do after that, Brad, you can do it. You got that there. You can have a triple threat at the next show. Demon Finn Balor versus Big E. I don't know. You can do a lot of great stuff, man, but that pretty much wraps up my fantasy booking video on Extreme Rules, man. I had a lot of fun fantasy booking this thing. Super excited for the show. Like I said, man, leave your predictions and what you would do down in the comment section below as far as fantasy booking is concerned, but I'm getting out of here, man. Guys, thank you so very much for watching. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at my damn toys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you, and don't cross the line like freaking if they did like Vince McMahon if the demon loses it on Sunday. You cross